guys, so I'll be talking about object pronouns today. Um, if you've forgotten what pronouns are, you can check out my um, first pronoun video at, where I kind of explain what they are and how they're used. But um, some of the object pronouns that exist in French are me, te, nous, vous, le, la, and les. Um, these are all kind of grouped together because they aren't the they're, they're direct objects instead of indirect objects. And what that means is that these, um, if you use these words, that means the thing that you're talking about directly receive the action. <clears throat> For example, if I say, oh, I like him, then it would be a direct object because I like him, I'm not um, and then for an indirect object, it would be, I throw the ball to him. And then that to him makes it an indirect object. Um, in any case, these are the seven object pronouns. And me um, takes the place of me or moi, te, toi. Nu, nu, because that's also the subject um, form, and then le, and then these blanks are where your normal um, <coughs> your normal noun would go. So when you use these object pronouns. You would say, for example, if I use the sentence, j'aime les pommes. If you remember, les pommes are apples. Um, I would say, okay, so this is my object here. It's usually, it's almost always after your verb. Um, you know, which of these does it fit? Obviously, les pommes would be les and then blank. So I would switch this. I would replace it with this. But in French, um, it's kind of different. Usually in English, we would say, I like them. But in French, you would put the object pronoun in front of your verb. So that would then be... Je les them. And that is kind of what would happen with any kind of um, object. For example, if I like me, then it would turn out to be je m'aime. Or if it was I like you, J'aime toi, then you would change it to je t'aime. 